got the phone. Where's the phone? Where is it? It's over there. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please do subscribe. It's 6.37 in the evening. And I have been home most of the day. Um, I took Max out this morning. I went to the co-op. I came back to my flat. Around 2 o'clock I took Max out for a walk again, came back to my flat and what I do is I usually rest, watch the telly until about 7 or 8 then I take my little chihuahua out for a walk again. I told you this morning that I met a guy called Charlie, very nice man called Charlie with a hat on his head and what looks like a leather jacket. So, I met Charlie this morning, we had a chat, he said, I thought you lived in Chatham. I said, no, I live down the bottom of Corey's Road. And he said, in the new build flat, I said yes. And um, I told him that my mum, Jennifer, lived in Chatham, and I, I live at the bottom of Corey's Road. Well, it's not right at the bottom, it's in like in just past the middle. Um, so, um, Charlie said he had a bad back. His back was hurting. He said he was going back to his girlfriend, a female friend, and I went around the fields, then I came back home. I also spoke to Kim this morning, so I've spoken to people. And I haven't had any bother, no bother, no harassment, no bullying, no nothing. So I've been feeling a bit sick. I had a stomach ache. Um, I felt a bit nauseous and ill. So I put um, my pyjamas on, put my gym jams on, and I put myself under the cover, under the bed cover. And I decided to watch 50 Cent um, get Rich or Die Trying. That DVD, it's ancient now, when uh, 50 Cent of it was with Eminem, etc. Get Rich or Die Trying. So I was laid down with Max on top of my lap and I was snoozing off. And I wasn't in a position to have visitors because I wasn't very well and I was in my and um, nightwear. So the buzzer goes off. This this buzzer goes off, and I don't answer it because I'm not I'm not dressed. It's the police. Two coppers. One they're dressed in black and blue, and they're dressed like one of them's dressed like she looked like Kate Middleton, with long curly dark hair down her back. So she looked like Cassine Kate Middleton. And they, they, I, I think, oh my God, I can't answer the door to the place. I'm not dressed for visitors. So I just kept quiet in my flat. I kept quiet. And the police had parked right down the bottom. Right down the bottom. There was a space outside my, my window. There's a space outside my apartment, a space, and then there's a red car. There's a red car, and then there's a space near my window. And I'm not in my bedroom. I wasn't lying in my bedroom sick. I was lying on the sofa, watching the TV, the DVD. So the police, somehow, they managed to get up the stairs and they're banging on my front door and I'm not dressed for visitors. I'm not dressed. I'm not well. They've not told me they're calling. They haven't emailed or, or said that they're coming to my flat and I'm not ready for them, which isn't fair, is it? They're going to knock on my door when I'm in my pyjamas 
and 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 that and I've got all my bowls out I haven't washed up yet so it'd be like a surprise visit it's a shame they couldn't come round when that guy was harassing me with that takeaway and I thought he was going to hit me I've had a response back to that by the way to my email address Pink Lady Fizz is my email address and I'm a woman and I'm getting a barrage of pornography to my email address. After giving my email address to the police, I've just had a barrage of pornography. Somebody called Taylor, all half undressed, a woman called Taylor. Just a barrage of filth basically so just to go to my gmail account because pink lady fizz is my gmail which i gave to the police a few days ago and now i'm getting bombarded with pornography females stripping naked with hardly any clothes on to asking me and um, what size my doodah is <laughs> i'm not joking and i'm a woman I'm, I'm getting sick of it to be honest, I'm, I'm just sick of it, I'm just going to have to change my email address completely now as well. Just get a new email address. As soon as I give it out to the police, the dentist, I get a barrage of crap. So I'm just, oh, I need my Gmail. So the police park down the bottom. Then you've got next door, next door, no word of the lie, the police are outside my front door and I've got next door going, uh, uh, right near my wall, uh, uh, right my wall. My neighbour upstairs has been out, the guy upstairs has been out all day and he's just come back in about 25 minutes past six. This is what the police have said. Good morning. Thank you for your initial contact with Kent Police on the 3rd of May 2023 regarding a delivery driver arriving at your home with takeaway food that you did not order or pay for and who subsequently became verbally aggressive and nasty, as stated in the contact. I have attempted to contact you by phone call but was unsuccessful. In order to be able to accurately record this incident for the purposes of Home Office Crime Recording and to progress the report to its required next stage, we would ask for some additional information from you regarding the incident. Specifically, if there was any other factors that you may recall that caused you to fear that the driver would physically assault you. So, for example, if the driver carried out any physical gestures directed towards you, that would give a definite belief beyond any reasonable doubt or if the exchange between yourself and the delivery driver was purely verbal and words alone. And they want me to call the police, but they just turned up on my doorstep today when I'm not feeling very well. Of course all of this has made me feel unwell and upset this bullying. So the police went, next door became noisy. Um, not next door to me became very noisy and making er noises and I got cross, of course I did. I was disturbed out of my sleep, I'd been ill and next door started making rude noises and I could hear it quite loud and I got upset and I just shouted fuck off, I got annoyed. It's not the first time I've heard err and yuck from next door. When I used to meet my son for a coffee at Costa Coffee, next door I could hear rude noises when I was going to meet my son for a coffee. It's not the first time that they've made noises next door. When I've had someone knock at the door or gone, gone to go and see somebody, it's not the first time that's happened, right? So at 25 past 6, my neighbour upstairs parks in the exact same spot that the police 
parked in. So there's a gap outside where my bedroom window is. And he has parked where the police park. The police, the Kent police, that's where he parked, down the bottom of Corey's Road. Um, opposite. So I, I, I haven't been well, so I've just been resting and watching um, 50 Cent in, in Get Rich or Die Trying. Um, Basically, it feels like I'm being harassed. If I'm, ju I'm just sat in my flat, minding my own business. I'm not pestering anybody. I'm not filming outside. I'm not nosing into anyone's business. I was sat in my pyjamas trying to have a nap. And you can't rest. And I remember this happening at Lansdowne Court um, when, I, when I was physically abused and someone tried to initiate sex and pushed me on the bed and I, I, I reported it um, to the housing and um, the lady came out, a blonde woman with long hair, with an Asian police officer and they, the police did not do anything. They didn't even interview the guy that had sexually harassed me. They basically said, uh, you can't stay indoors. You've got to go out. I said, but this guy's frightened me and I've been indoors for three days. I don't want to go out. Oh, you can't stay indoors. You've got to go outside. You've got to go and get some shopping and, and go outside. And again, they, they didn't do anything. They're just banging on the door. I've been indoors, I've not been doing anything. They just want to get you outside. And then when I go outside, I get abused. I get people shouting, Ugh! Like it's some kind of comedy and it's not nice. I don't like it. Leave people alone. If you don't like me, if you, if you think I'm ugh, then just leave me alone. What is the problem? Get people to bang my door. Wake me up out of my sleep. If you don't like me, just leave me alone. You don't have to follow me outside and laugh and go, Ehh. I mean, that's childish. Just leave me alone. Simple. I'm not here for your entertainment. Find someone else or something else to do, please. They just think it's funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Just bog off. I talked to two people today. I'm mixing with other people. What was going on two years ago isn't happening anymore. I don't give, give a fuck what he does upstairs. That's his business. I don't care. It's nothing to do with me. I'm meeting other people. I'm getting out. That is all crap under the bridge. I'm not interested. I don't. I, I've got my own life. I make friends with people I want to make friends with. If people have been rude and nasty to me, taking the piss and harassed me, they're no friends of mine and I don't want to know them. But all I want to do is watch the TV and be left alone. If you're not going to investigate, if you're just knocking on the door to be nosy and to get me outside, don't bother. See you later.